Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. Now, what we have here, we take the log on both sides. Now, this here we have log 5 raised to power x equals to log 500 on this side. On this here, we apply the power of log root. What we have log m raised to power p. This same thing as p log m. Now this here we have x log 5 equals to log 500 from here. Then here we divide both side by log 5. Now this divide this side by log 5. Also divide this side by log 5. Which implies that log 5 can sue each other. We have x equals to log 500 over log 5. The next step here, you can write 500 as 5 times 100, which implies this becomes x equals to log 5 times 100 over log 5. Then here, this follows when we have log a times b, which is the same thing as log a plus log b. This here we have x equals to log 5 plus log 100 over log 5. Then here, separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 5 over log 5 plus log 100 over log 5. This here, log 5 cancelled each other here, yeah? one left here, which implies x equals to 1 plus log 100 over log 5. That's this. Next step here, also you can write 100 as 5 times 20. And we have x equals to 1 plus log 5 times 20 over log 5. And this also follows the law of log root. And we have x equals to 1 plus log 5 plus log 20 over log 5. This here, we separate this into two fractions, and we have x equals to 1 plus log 5 over log 5 plus log 20 over log 5. And this here, also log 5 cancel each other, we have one left, which implies x equals to 1 plus 1, that's 2, then plus log 20 over log 5. The next step here also we can express 20 as 5 times 4 which implies we have x equals to 2 plus log 5 times 4 over log 5. Then this also follows the law of logarithm and we have x equals to 2 plus log 5 plus log 4 over log 5. Then here, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to 2 plus log 5 over log 5 plus log 4 over log 5. That is, Next step here, also log 5 cancel each other here, yeah? one left here, that is x equals to 2 plus 1, that's 3, plus log 4 over log 5. That is here, also 4 can be written as 2 times 2, which is 2 squared. We have x equals to 3 plus log 2 squared over log 5. At this here, we apply the power of log root. 2 comes here, and we have x equals to 3 plus 2 log 
2 over log 5. That is A. We apply change of base. When we have log A over log B, this same thing as log A to base B. Then here yeah, we have x equals to 3 plus 2 log 2 base 5. That is the value of x here. We have x equals to 3 plus 2 log 2 base 5. Then let's check here. If this satisfies this given problem, this will substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 3 plus 2 log 2 base 5. Then what we have here becomes 5 raised to power 3 plus 2 log 2 base 5. Is this is equals to 500 on this side. Then, yeah, we apply the law of indices. What we have a raised to power m plus n. The same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. Now, this here we have 5 raised to power 3 times 5 raised to power 2 log 2 base 5. Is it equals to 500 on this side? 5 raised to power 3. 5 multiply itself 3 times. That's 125. Here yeah, we revise this 2 half from power log. We have 5 raised to power log 2 square is 5. Is it equals to 500 on this side? Now this, here we have 125 times 5 raised to power log 2 square, that's 4, is 5. Is it equals to 500? On this side, as this here, yeah, this follows. Here we have a raised to power log b to base a, which is equals to b. And here we have one or twenty-five times four. Is this equals to five hundred on this side? Then, yeah, one twenty-five times four that's five hundred, which is equals to five hundred from here. We have left hand side equals to the right hand side and therefore we conclude that x equals to 3 plus 2 log 2 base 5 so the side is given problem and thank you for watching don't forget the step subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell share this video give a thumbs up and put your comments and also join our membership package for more videos and exclusive clicks and see you next class bye for now